In this video, we will focus on NMR structure of benzene. Using NMR, it should be easy for us to figure out the structure of benzene, whether a benzene is monosubstituted or disubstituted or trisubstituted. It should be easy to figure them out. But before we get going, let's go over some of the characteristics of benzene proton NMR. First, all of the hydrogen signal in benzene are found in the desodered region from 6.5 to about 9 ppm. And second, the overall integration between this region from 6.5 to 9 tell us how many hydrogen are on the benzene. And knowing how many hydrogen on the benzene is important to help us figure out what kind of substitution does the benzene ring have. In case that the total integration from 6 to 6.5 to 9 ppm is equal to 5. That would then tell us that the benzene ring is monosubstituted. Whereas if the overall integration from 6.5 to 9 ppm is equal to 4, that means there are 4 hydrogen on the benzene ring. So therefore, the benzene ring would then be disubstituted. And if the overall integration is equal to Three, then that tells us that the benzene ring is trisubstituted. Because normally, benzene ring without any substitution on them would then have six hydrogen on it. And as the more substitution that we have, then the less hydrogen we will have. Therefore, we will count the total integration from the region from 6.5 to 9 ppm to help us figure out what kind of substitution the benzene ring is. In case that the benzene ring is monosubstituted, we will then see there are five hydrogen on it. So therefore, the overall integration would then be five. If the benzene ring is monosubstituted, it does not matter how, where does the substitution connected to. So therefore, it's not important for us to analyze what will be the multiplicity of all of this hydrogen. If we were to have the disubstituted benzene, we would then see again overall four integration number or the degree of, of the four integration number on the region from 6.5 to 9 ppm. And now it would be possible for us to figure out how the benzene ring is disubstituted. Is it 1, 2 disubstituted or 1, 3 disubstituted or 1, 4 disubstituted? 1, 2 disubstituted it also referred to as ortho. And 1,3 disubstitution is then called meta and then para for the 1,4 disubstitution. So now let's analyze the signal of these different types of disubstituted benzene ring because they are quite common in most in many organic molecules. If we were to have an ortho 1,2 disubstituted benzene ring, then we would then see that this would be the kind of multiplicity that we expect to see. First of all, we will, we will then see that there will be a total of four degree four in the integration number. And here in this case right here, if it is ortho, this hydrogen right here will give us a doublet. This hydrogen right here will give us another doublet. Now it depended on what R1 and R2 would be. If R1 and R2 are the same, then that means these two hydrogen right here are the same as well. But if R1 and R2 were to be different, then the signal of this hydrogen, called this hydrogen A, would then be different than this hydrogen B. And if they are different, then this hydrogen B right here would be a doublet. And this is also another doublet as well. And as for this hydrogen in here, this hydrogen, let's call this hydrogen C. The hydrogen C would either show up as a triplet or a doublet of doublet, dependent on the J value between this hydrogen A to hydrogen C and from this hydrogen C to hydrogen D. If the J value are the same between A to D, then signal C would then be a triplet, versus if the J value are different, then it will be a doublet of doublet. And so for the signal in hydrogen D, it will be the same. It can either be a triplet or a doublet of doublet. And overall, the integration equal to 4 for the region from 6.5 to 9 ppm. 
if we were to have a meta die substituted benzene ring, then we will then expect to see this following signal. First one, this E and R one, this hydrogen right here will be a singlet. And that pretty distinct right there. And this hydrogen here will then be a doublet. And this hydrogen right here will be a doublet. And this hydrogen right here will then be a triplet or a doublet of doublet. Now this hydrogen in here normally show up as a doublet because the couplings between this hydrogen to this hydrogen right here, a lot of time it is pretty weak. So they don't even communicate at all. So this is why this, that this hydrogen in here remain a singlet. So the singlet is something that is very unique in the case of meta. If we were to analyze the region from the signal in region from 6.5 to 9, and we observe a singlet in it, then that will then let us know that it would be a meta di substitution. And if we were to have a para di substituted benzene ring, that is when the two alkyl group or the two R group are on the opposite end. And because at the opposite end, they will be symmetrical in this molecule. So therefore, we will then expect to see the following. This hydrogen right here will show up as a doublet. And now this hydrogen here, let's say this is hydrogen A, this is exactly similar to the hydrogen B, because of symmetry again. So hydrogen A and hydrogen B are the same thing. And this hydrogen B would also show up as a doublet. So therefore we will then see a doublet. These two hydrogen A and B will give us a doublet with an integration overall equal to two. And this hydrogen C and hydrogen D are also symmetrical as well. And both of them will show up as a doublet. So therefore, we will, we will then expect to see another doublet with an overall intensity equal to 2. So that's how the signal would be differences in the case of, di of a disubstituted benzene ring. And by seeing this unique pattern right here, it would be pretty easy for us to figure out what kind of disubstitution the benzene ring has. And again, if the overall integration from 6.5 to 9 equal to 4, we know it is disubstituted. Let's now take a look at an example. So we're going to go over an example on this page right here, on page 21. So in here, let us focus on the signal in the correspond to the benzene. So please make this correction right here. This is actually equal to 2, not 1. So again, this signal in here corresponds to the benzene. And the reason why is because of its chemical shape. From 6.5 to 9 ppm, there will be no other signal that will show up on this region right here except for benzene ring. So when we count all of this total integration together, we have 1, 1, and 2. So there are four hydrogen in here. So that tells us that the benzene ring is disubstituted. And now, let's now figure out how is it disubstituted. So in this case right here, we have a triplet. And we have a singlet. And we have a doublet of doublet. Two doublet of doublet. And the minute that we see that there is singlet in here, it should be pretty obvious for us to see that the benzene ring is then meta. Because only when it is meta, they will be able to this, see this singlet in here. So this singlet corresponds to this hydrogen. So that's how we'll be able to figure out what kind of substitution that the benzene ring has.